Madame Leota showed up on Once Upon a Time. Okay, so I watched the entire first season of Once Upon a Time when it aired, even though I never figured out if I enjoyed it. Like, I don't think I was enjoying it when I was watching it, but each episode ended on a cliffhanger that made me go, well, I gotta see what happens next. And then the season finale happened and I no longer needed to see what happened next. What's going on? The curse. I think you broke it. The curse of Dave being at all invested in what comes next. You broke it. So I haven't seen any Once Upon a Time since season one, and I'm definitely not catching up on all of it. I'm just going into the 11th episode of the final season, Blind. We'll see if this intrigues me as much as Kingdom Keepers. The Leota scenes happen when two characters who I'm told are Captain Hook and the Wicked Witch of the West are looking for the Wicked Witch's daughter, and they go to a secret witch shop. Yes, she is. Memento Mori. Now I'm told that Memento Mori is the name of the mansion gift shop in Florida, and the idea of that gift shop is that it used to be Leota's shop, so having Leota in a store called Memento Mori is very good Florida fan service. I'm told. I don't actually know firsthand because last time I was in Florida, the shop over there was still Yankee Trader, so... Anyway, they overhear Leota giving a familiar seance. Let there be music from regions beyond. I'm just assuming that that's going to turn out to be the monkey from Toy Story 3. So Leota, played by Susie Joachim, is working with this character who I'm told is Mother Gothel. You dare interrupt my sales. I am Madame Leota. Give us the girl and then we leave. You and I will have our reckoning another day. Leave? How? This chamber has no windows and no doors. Uh, I guess Leota's the ghost host again. Which it's less interesting here than it is in the comics. To find a way out. <clears throat> of course, there's always my way. So Leota's basically just here to shoehorn in some lines from the ride. She doesn't seem to be centered in the plot that much. I guess since she was one of the few bits of mansion lore that wasn't superfluous in the Murphy movie, they had to make her superfluous somewhere else. Stop! Mother, what are you doing here? I'm here to save you from the witch that kidnapped you. Nobody kidnapped me. I ran away. This place is so cool. Leota looks so out of place in every shot. It's like those memes of Big Bird sitting in a board meeting or marching with stormtroopers. This is a resurrection amulet. With it, one can resurrect a soul that has not yet fully surrendered to the other side. Today, you and I are going to use it to bring my dear Leota back to the realm of the living. So what do I have to do? To stand right where you are. And die. Okay, so Leota's there to be an almost dead person for the Wicked Witch's daughter to find out that Gothel's gonna sacrifice her? I guess Leota could be this evil. There's nothing in the ride that says she isn't, but it's not that fun a way to see Leota as far as I'm concerned. And the performance is... unremarkable. It's not terrible, but it's nothing particularly special. No disrespect to the actor. I'm sure she did it exactly as she was directed. She just wasn't directed to do anything remarkable with the role. But then the Wicked Witch comes and offers to sacrifice herself instead, so her estranged daughter is moved and threatens Gothel and Leota, and they just kinda peace out. And then I guess this Order of Witches comes back, so one of them might still be Leota, but she's not, like, identifiable anywhere else in the series. Yeah, I gotta say, I'm not feeling the urge to watch all the Once Upon a Time I missed. It's official, Once Upon a Time is no Kingdom Keepers. So hurry back, we would like your company.